pill that he has yeah. to take. Dad, it's time for the pill. It's time for the pill. <laughs> The best part Barnacles, is like, I hate the pill. Pill, yeah. <laughs> it's like this big thing, and they're like playing like Dungeons and Dragons, and they're like, "Dost thou feel it now, no. Mr. Krabs?" Like, <laughs> this is a great episode. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, it's, okay, I revealed my age. What is your age? I already forgot what it was though. But you forgot so your you age? No, no, I oh, forgot your age. I'm 25. So you have, oh, you're 25. Yeah, I'm 25. I'm 27. You guys, most of you guys are like to me a lot of people are, like I, a lot of people are a lot younger looking than I think. Like Sid, Sid, Sid looks to me like she's still in high school. Yeah. Yeah. In enough about age. We'll, we'll get into uh, an age here with Nico and Spanky. Uh, Grand Perry up throw. I like the fact that he was looking for an up air or forward air. Nico at it again. All right. Yeah. So smash at the ledge. I like. Uh, Spanky being aggressive there, knowing that that's a really bad spot to be against Joel yeah. at the ledge, and just throws out an aggressive option to get him off. Think about being at the ledge too against Joel, it's a really tough spot, but it's also like a really good spot also for Ivasaur too. Ivasaur does really well at the ledge and off the ledge too as well, so like his edge guards are really good, and he also has ways to get out of the ledge as well. Like things like Nair, up B, uh, depending on the spacing. Okay, it looks like he's trying to... Ooh. I like it because if up oh, here, Nico switched out of Smash like mm -hmm. at the last second there. That was so close. There's still a lot of tech that I tell people like for me to. Oh, that was a good solve because that wouldn't have worked under normal circumstances. Yeah. If you just press up here too fast, he stalled the second hit. Okay, going for that up here out of shield. Uh, wouldn't have killed when he was in shield there, but he, uh, he ran out of juice there for shield Donato. Yeah. And it killed. Quick, quick thing to tell you. I'm only gonna tell you here, man, because I like it. We call him Monado Arts. Monado is the <laughs> sword. Monado Arts. What did I say? Monado. Oh. I just know this because, like, I, yeah, I know, I know the Shulk Discord, and they're like, I'm always like, always, like, people call him Monado. Monado is a sword. Arts are the case for Oh yeah, I, I bet they're like. In Xenoblade Chronicles like, 2, there are different Monados. Can you believe this is a Brony commentator? Proper terminology. Sometimes it's like, it goes a long way. You sound a little more eloquent. I'm just telling you, man. You, just, you, don't, you don't have to worry about it. It's just like I always remember. <laughs> Alrighty. So it switches to the speed Monado art. Oh, there. Ooh, that's great DI. Yeah, still surviving here. I intentionally here. mispronounced it. You didn't even notice. Monado art. Someone call it the, the, the blue Gatorade, the red Kool-Aid. The red Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, misses ledge there, but it doesn't matter because he's Pokemon train. Uh, all right, the chase down. I like to call, he used to call it like in Smash 4, like really, 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 really early. The Smash Moto art, I used to call it the Misatsu art because Akuma has this thing called Misatsu and it's like a thing that instantly kills you. It's the same thing with the Smash art, if you guys play it, by the way. Uh, his ledge trapping and Shulk's ledge trapping by extension is so good. Uh, just has such big hitboxes, he's kind of able to cover a lot. Uh, yeah. And, it, like, we saw him run forward, towards the ledge, kind of bait, made him think that uh, he was going to cover, like, get up, do for get up or get up attack, and then just caught back, threw out the back air, and killed him. Yeah. To the back air. Put him in towards the ledge here, and he waits for the ice guard phase. He smashed hard in hand. The classic smash for a roll back and back throw, but unfortunately, oh, he, he is, dies early. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's caught smash. in that situation. Yeah. You could say it's a double-edged sword. <laughs> you know what's actually funny is back there in Smash Four, uh, the one, the one where he, I like to call them the canoe row, rowing <laughs> the, the canoe. But, um, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's the back. It used to have a front hitbox. So if Shulk went across you up and you were in front of it, that hitbox would be Because Shulk's, Shulk's mechanic here is not only the ability to change his paradigm, right, between like defensive, offensive, right, specialist, and all that stuff. Um, he had like two hitboxes every time forward smash the start and then the ending of it. So you kind of have to really guess the timing here. And in Smash 4, the back air had the front hitbox and the back hitbox. So you can really cross people up and mix up on timing. Uh, it hurts my head just because of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, because the, the actual hilt of the sword has a hit. Mm -hmm. And then the... I don't know the term, Vance. I'm sorry. Which I'm one? just going to call it the blue lightsaber. Speed, speed art? Oh, 
the actual the, the blade itself. Yeah, what's it? Yeah, it, it's just it is. It's just a Monado. Oh, like okay. when it, when it when like when a technical turn. No, when he's engaged in battle, like he can either like turn that on and give him increased damage. Um, it's just a part of the game. It's well, uh, definitive edition is coming out, so everybody can definitely like go ahead and play. I, in my opinion, people have always like shown me about this. I think Xenoblade Chronicles One is the best JRPG since Final Fantasy VII. Like people say, like Final Fantasy VII is the greatest one of all time. I was like, nah. I honestly, well, there there are a lot of them, but like I honestly think Xenoblade Chronicles is like better than Final Fantasy VII. It's really great. And, and I digress though. It's uh, in the game. It's what happens when Shulk doesn't engage in battle and the Monado awakens. Basically, when he gets vision, right? You can see the vision. I know there's something great with those games. But the, uh, the environments in that game are beautiful. Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't know, Monolith Software also co worked alongside the development team for Breath of the Wild. Yeah. So if you guys are like wondering like why Breath of the Wild is so beautiful to look at, it's a lot of the team from Monolith Software did help out with Breath of the Wild. Yeah, yeah. He's good, he's good, yeah, no, he's good, he's good. It's because of the fact that he has jump bar, up he also gets increased jump height. It, so the way the arts work too is that they don't change Shulk's frame data, which can be a misconception. It changes his property. So he becomes basically a lightweight, which is why a lightweight would go that high with a beat. Okay, yeah. And, uh, does speed change his properties in any other way? Yeah, he becomes the fastest character in the game. Oh, yeah, besides the... Uh, the uh, jump height, the decreased jump height. Yeah, okay, okay, got it, right. Um, yeah, I was, I was talking to Nico a little bit about Smash, uh, but I can never see all the details between the, the ship's uh, screen. I mean, uh, in my head. Yeah. I know Shield can make, basically just makes him the heaviest character. He's the heaviest character in the game and has more, takes a significantly a lot less knockback, becomes super slow, but also has great shield. Like the best shield health you can get in the game. But Shield Art is the, the, the least amount of time active out of all the arts. It's active for like about like, I think it's like five, six seconds. Compared to all the arts, we're active like six to seven to eight seconds. I know that in uh, Smash 4, when you counter on shield art, it did something like 100% extra. Uh, does it still do it like that in this game? No. Um, and Shulk's counter is unfortunately the worst counter in the game. <laughs> because it just it just doesn't work. It's more of like uh, I guessed it, so therefore I get to move forward kind of <laughs> movement. Like that's because that's what it does. It moves to show forward. So that so it's more of like a, a read to come back on the stage or like a read to just move over. There is a number of counters that I remember in four where it was like strong counter, soft counter, right? Soft counter wouldn't kill. Strong counter would kill. Um, and like another counter in between. It's it's like there's a lot. Like Shulk as a character is really dynamic. Yeah. Oh. There. Yeah, and the thing about Shulk too is like the two Monados where he does suffer a lot too in terms of knockback is jump art and smash art because jump art does make you feel floaty and you do take more knockback yeah. too as well. Up you had a, up you had a shield. That's a, that's one of like Shulk's more faster options on the shield. He does have things like Nair, uh, but compared to up B, it's a really good like it's a, like a really good like oh get off me option. But yeah, he takes a lot of knockback in jump art because he is a floaty. And then he takes more knockback in, in Smash Art because Smash Art obviously it changes your property to right. deal and take more knockback. Yeah, I mean, I I understand the basic idea of which what each of them do. What some of them have more properties in terms of like the floatiness, uh, yeah, rather than just changing jump height in by itself. Yeah, the best um, way I can tell you is speed, fast, uh, fastest character in the game, decrease jump height, a uh, Buster. Deal more damage in terms of percent only. Oh, deal. Him. oh, that was a great one. Deal more damage in terms of percent only, and do more shield shield damage in general. But you do a lot less knockback, so you cannot really kill in in uh <laughs> in Buster Art unless your opponent is DIing like like Mankey. <laughs> um, and then there's Shield Art, which really gives you more shield health, but you take you're, you're slower and you have more uh, you take less knockback. And then there's, uh, I already said speed, there's is jump monado art, which also gives you, which makes you lightweight, it gives you more jump height, but you also take more knockback because you are lightweight. And then I already explained it. Basically a double light sword. You deal, you deal about 1.4 times more knockback, but you also take 1.4 times more knockback. Uh, and it doesn't do the decreased damage anymore. No. That was one of the 
Um, you don't take decreased damage in Buster or, or Smash. It was only in G. No, I mean, it's, it's Smash when auto it would deal less percent. Yeah, yeah, you do, le you do less percent. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But you just deal, like, an <laughs> insane amount of knockback. Like, I've seen people die 30. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. And, yeah, so that almost killed Charizard at, like, 110 at the opposite edge of the stage. Spanky diff uh, I think they just released their IEPR a little bit a while back ago. Spanky's definitely one of those players, like I tell. He may not be that well known in terms of like his performance was wide, but like he's definitely a player that I tell his uh the IE is like a good boss for him the weapon. Like he's definitely caused some damage in the war. And he's definitely a great player in the war, but he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nico and Nico has only fought in sweet speed before in terms of the matchup against Pokemon. Here. I thought uh, you played against Puppet while he was here. Um, so. a few times, but not like, um, it was Komei, Komei. Sweet Tea plays this character, uh, Shine plays this character mm -hmm. as well, a lot. There's quite a few Pokemon yeah. here actually here, so now. Yeah, actually, yeah. It's pretty popular here. Yeah. I mean, when I think of Pokemon Trainer, I definitely do see this as more of a Shine character. Because back then, Shine was kind of like a jack of all trades. Well, yeah, I mean, he's always loved to play a lot of different characters, so why not play character that's three characters in one? Yeah. Oh, he missed the up tilt too, and he's, I like the stall there with the jump, but unfortunately, oh. down air, the hitbox and the way it gets you. Yeah, that's, that's nice there. From Spanky, yeah. Oh, that was great. He just, I was gonna, that's, he has to switch there because Squirtle is a uh, popular like, character in the game. Good, good, good chance to shield our dog. Takes less knockback and less damage. Yeah, but we've also seen uh, Spanky, Spanky get a little more off the game. Uh, he has to watch out about that too. Okay, so. Oh, sweep spot back oh, air, and that so was close. Close this out right now. He has to be careful because he also takes more knockback. Like I mentioned, they jump hard. Back air that'll not do the uh, oh, Charizard's okay. a little super heavyweight. Dash attack, not gonna go either, but that ain't well. That I guess. Oh, that was close. That was either gonna be an up air or an up tilt release. Up air shield, that was good. Still though, Charizard's super heavy. Yeah, all this work good. Clear out this stock. May actually uh, keep him to the point. I like the change to speed art because Nico is really good at working with speed art as well, but he doesn't want to use shield art just yet because he knows that he might get weighted out, um, especially from the age of the platform. Yeah, it's always. So in this situation, I think it's always the right choice to go to Squirrel just so you can get those. Early turn combo prevents you. You have a low profile, but like I said, Spanky's doing a really good job of understanding. Like, I need to kind of play this more Arthasaur than Squirtle. Squirtle, I get in, do a little bit of percent, and then I get out. But I can stick to Squirtle too long, and Spanky understands that. Like, even Squirtle is really risky. That's what I'm saying. It's so scary to be in against Squirtle with it. Yeah, he knows he's got to switch out. He got caught from the side B, and Nico gets the sweet here, but Spanky, he's going extra low, and I like that because he kind of stalled himself there with the change. Yeah. Nico's looking really hard for that throw there, like. Yeah. Oh, he was, he saw, he saw the fact that uh, Joe, um, Shield Art's active there. He tries to come back, I like that. He oh, brings it to the ledge, but switches to Speed Art for that purpose. Oh, even with down throw jump Art. him out, but he doesn't have it anymore. Let's see how he gets back. He's Full cross up. Yep. Super high. He goes bringing this back, but Spanky's so close. It's one, I was gonna say, it's one read for Spanky, and he could get it, and he thought he had it with up smash. The real classic rollback smash, but he barely missed oh, the grab, and the sack it was right there. It's so scary when he was into this for smash because it just means anybody <laughs> could die. <laughs> he switches the spear there. Oh no, he switched off. He switched off. That was weird. That was weird. I, that is so uncharacteristic. I don't know why he switched off that way early. He needs to live a lot he longer. With the back air. All Specky needs to do is come back on the stage here and watch the timing there on the return. And he missed it because I told you the oh, he, Shulk no. has two hitbox. Specky was so close. Pretty good. Yeah, the second hitbox there, just getting him. Whew. And Nico clutches it out. That's what we call an eco star. Oh, it's not an eco star. It's more of like the classic, the way I explained it earlier to you.